Good morning, it's David Vanderleek here at the Rainbow Society of Alberta. It's a special occasion today that we're here uh, joining us with uh, Holly Pashek, and you are the fund development for the Society, correct? Yes. Yeah. Now, back in December, the big board from TSN 1260 was auctioned, and those funds that were raised were donated to the Society. And Sherwood Ford, the giant, the big board, it's not just big, it's giant. <laughs> uh, we replaced their big board, as you know, with the new big board. And they donated that uh, old big board and those funds we matched. And so we're here today to present a check for $600 to help assist with the society. And also to help you understand just exactly how this society works. So the slogan, a child, a wish, a dream come true. That's just fantastic. We're making the dreams of, look at all these kids behind me here. Can you see that big board behind us? Wow, since 1986, that's the history, right? You've been in business, well, not business, the work of charity since 1986, 30 years. 30 years this June. Right, how many, how many children in that entire time have benefited from the society? Have we just completed our 1013th wish Wow. Over that 30 years. Mm -hmm. 1,013. There's that big number on the board. Where is it? Right there. Look at that. Of course, it's backwards <laughs> <laughs> on the video. But 1,013 children in 30 years have benefited. Now, what? when we say benefited, how are these kids uh, benefiting from the Rainbow Society of Alberta? These are kids from right here in Alberta, from our own communities, that have been diagnosed with either a life-threatening or severe chronic medical illness or mm -hmm. illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, they're referred to us through healthcare professionals, teachers, family members, um, that this child really deserves and needs something happy in their lives, something mm -hmm. to bring them some joy so they don't focus on their uh, medical issues. Right, now, and the kids that we're talking about range in age from what? From three to 18 years old. Okay, and these are not children that have life-threatening injuries. Oh, illnesses. Um, they have, we include children with severe chronic illnesses in mm -hmm. our mandate. Yeah. Um, these children, sometimes they're uh, illnesses that aren't, you know, fully diagnosed yet. But mm -hmm. yes, we, we fill in a gap and make sure that we include the children with severe chronic illnesses. Right. Earlier, we had a chance to talk a little bit about some of the types of things. Follow me. <laughs> Behind us, all these photos of all the different people that have benefited um, what are some of the really, really cool things? Like, for instance, one we talked about was a child who had a suit of armor um, made for them, right? And there's some really other really cool things that the society has done to make those wishes come true for these kids. It really is unique to every child. You know, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, some of the most popular are always Disney-related and trip-related, but yeah. um, it's really exciting when kids come to us and, you know, a full-size suit of armor. Mm. How unique is that, that <laughs> this young boy, that's what he wanted. He really yeah. uh, enjoyed the medieval games and such. Mm -hmm. um, meeting the Prime Minister of Canada. Yeah. You know, when you can meet anybody, but it ended up being a spectacular wish because he got his own private showing of the musical ride by the RCMP. He had his yeah. own red surge made. Yeah. Um, you know, the wishes can be really elaborate, but we, we never base the value of a wish on how much it costs because it's what's truly important to the child that matters. Yeah, and there's such a wide variety. I mean, we're talking sports, um, airplanes, F1 racing, there's bicycles, there's, there's all kinds of ways that a child could benefit from the, the services that are provided by the uh, Rainbow Society of Alberta. In fact, throughout Alberta, there's a lot of communities involved. Let's show you, come on over here, folks. We're gonna take a little walk over to the, the map board over here. <clears throat> And I want you to see, this is every black pin on this board you see here. This is a community that has benefited or has had a recipient. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. yeah. 161 communities in Alberta. And we like everybody to know that all of the funds that we raise stay to help Alberta children mm -hmm. within our own communities and our own borders. That's fantastic. So now I'm a parent and I have a child with a chronic illness. How do I um, find out whether I'm eligible? And it can be kids with life-threatening illnesses as well. Okay. Um, but 
we have a great website. You can go to our website at rainbowsociety.ab.ca mm -hmm. uh, and look at our online form. You can call our office um, to see if your child qualifies and we'll just take it from there. It, the mm -hmm. referrals come from healthcare professionals, teachers, family members, uh, any of those. Okay. Uh, obviously, a, an organization like yours takes a fair bit of money to operate and that, that's, a, that's a pretty big budget. You have several fundraisers throughout the year. You've got one coming up this March. It's sold out, that's good news. Yes. Um, what is the major fundraiser though that everyone can get involved in this summer? Uh, we have a golf tournament coming up on July 7th, our Swing for Dreams Rainbow Society Golf Classic. Mm -hmm. It's one of our largest fundraisers of the year. We need support as far as golfers, sponsors, prize donors, yeah. it, in as little a way or as large a way that you want to get involved. Fantastic. Now, you, were, you know, we were talking about how we receive those funds and from individuals, from organizations, from businesses like Sherwood Ford, from TSN 1260. Yes. Um, every little bit helps. So whether it's $100 or $5,000, um, you know, you're an organization or a business and you want to help and you're putting it on a, a fundraiser of your own, you can... Um, earmark those funds for the Rainbow Society of Alberta, right? Oh, absolutely. That's uh, some of our most important uh, and largest fundraising of the year comes from yeah. different people within the community. It can be a, a classroom project mm -hmm. is up to, you know, Sherwood Ford helping us out with this donation. Yeah, no, it's fantastic. Let's go back to the, uh, the, the photos back over here. <laughs> I just, I just can't get enough of this, this big board. Now that's a big board. <laughs> anyway, um, you need to understand folks that the majority of the funds that you're donating are going to the Rainbow Society of Alberta. The, the overhead, the actual cost to operate the office, the staff, all of that, um, we're talking at least, what, 95, 96% of what you're donating is supporting that child. That's correct, yes. Yeah. We keep our administrative costs as, as low as possible. There's only five of us here mm -hmm. running the, the charity in Alberta, mm -hmm. um, and it's really important to know that uh, that 96 percent of the donations goes directly towards yeah. each one of these wishes. Yeah, that's super. There are, of course, other organizations within Alberta that provide similar services, but what you're really doing here is you're kind of filling in a niche that some of these other groups aren't able to accommodate. Am I right? Oh, absolutely. That's where uh, we've added in offering wishes to children with severe chronic illnesses in addition to children that have life-threatening illnesses. Mm -hmm. um, and there are children in our program that also are nonverbal, uh, and their families help them out, and we get wishes, uh, referrals, and such, where the families say, this is what my child will benefit from. Mm -hmm. There are certain types of activities or um, things that are excluded from a, a wish. What would some of those look like? Well, we want to make the wish as special for the child as possible mm -hmm. uh, and safe. So um, we're saying, you know, look at all the wishes behind us. They're as yeah. vast as you could possibly imagine. Mm -hmm. um, we just ask uh, kids to stay away from motorized vehicles and firearms. Ah, yes. So things that are of danger. <laughs> of course, of course. <laughs> um, yeah. But pretty much anything else is wide open. You want, maybe you want to meet somebody. Maybe you want to go on a, a trip to, to Disneyland. It could be anywhere in North America. Yep, mainland North America. We, um, mm -hmm. we have some great wishes coming up. You can yeah. go on our website. We have some fantastic new wishes just, uh, just added over the weekend. Uh, maybe a meet and greet with uh, Connor McDavid. Ooh, the yeah. Oilers. Yeah. Right. Um, so there's, you know, back in the day, I have to say, the most popular wish in the 80s was to meet Wayne Gretzky. I'll bet it was. Yep. And today it's the Connor McDavid. That's right, yep. <laughs> but uh, any Oilers, I guess, would, I mean, you would have to obviously approach the others to find out just exactly who would be available and oh, try course. to line up something yeah. there for sure. Yeah. yeah, but the possibilities are, are pretty much wide open and endless. So as a parent, if you if you have a child who has a chronic illness or has a life threatening um, situation, and you want to help them uh, to have something that's going to be memorable, and boy, the some of the some of the smiles back here behind us. And that's what we say. Look at the board, and out of all these hundreds of pictures, every child is smiling. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you very much for the opportunity for us to donate. Thank you to Sherwood Ford and TSN 1260. Do your part, folks. A child, a, a wish, a dream come true. You can help.